Senator McGrath. Uh, to begin with, thank you very much for inviting Universities Australia to provide evidence today. I would like to note three things briefly to assist the committee. Australia's universities have been concerned for some time about the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic on our continued ability to undertake important and life-saving research on behalf of the nation. A wide range of research is at risk, including the research helping the community and government respond to the crisis. I would like to applaud the government's federal budget response, providing an additional $1 billion to support university research capability through the pandemic. It's important to state and was acknowledged by the government on the night that this is a first tranche, a first step to assist universities through a very difficult time to bridge over the next year or two to assist us in losing as little capacity in research as is possible. The injection of funding will help keep more scientists and researchers in jobs using their expertise for the benefit of a nation. But to the matter in hand today, the bill before us amends legislation in order to implement the government's response to the review of provider category standards conducted by Professor Peter Coldrake last year. The standards are a set of threshold requirements with which higher education providers must comply and are differentiated for provider types or categories. Uh, we supported Professor Coldrake's findings and we welcome the government's implementation of this review. Australia's universities are required to be active in both research and teaching and for their research to inform their teaching. The outstanding research and scholarship, sorry, this outstanding research and scholarship has earned the Australian university sector an enviable reputation for quality and excellence, making Australian universities into institutions of choice for both local and international students. This connection is strongly backed in Professor Coldrake's review and is strongly backed by the university sector. However, one element seems to be out of place uh, in what we are discussing today, and it's the government's intent to allow institutions that are not research active to be named university colleges. This risks compromising the system's reputation of quality, quality that Australian universities and the community are rightly proud of. Any institution that could be construed to be university-like should be active in both research and teaching, consistent with the findings of the Coldrake Review. However, as the government has made a policy decision to implement the university college category, the bill under consideration provides important protections on the use of the word university, and that is important. On this basis, Universities Australia supports the bill. We note that many of our members have called for additional consultation on how the new research benchmarks will work, and we think this is important. These matters are outside the direct changes made by the bill, and we are confident the government will continue to work constructively with the sector on these matters, and in fact we will ensure that's the case from our end. We've suggested two minor matters to improve the operation of the legislation. These minor amendments would aid in efficient administration of the bill and continue to promote quality and excellence in the higher education sector. I thank the committee for its consideration of our submission, and we're happy to answer any questions.